up YouTube. Unplanned date, first kiss. Sensory overload experience with pulling herself off. I just wanted to come in at the beginning of the video to introduce myself. We have gained a lot of followers and subscribers recently, so it's been amazing and I'm so thankful that you're all here and happy to have you sharing in on our journey. My name is Jessica, my son's name is Jacob. Jacob is on the autism spectrum. He is two years and nine months old. And I have Jazz over here, she is nine months old and she is crawling everywhere. I have a husband, his name is Jordan. We make mostly vlogs um, about our family life and about our autism family. We're so thankful you're all here. Look forward to getting to know you all a bit more. What up YouTube? Today is public holiday. What's a public holiday for? Labor Day. Labor Day. Today we're gonna go to the shops because it's a day that we can actually go to the shop as a fam. We're gonna go look at maybe working out what we're gonna go as for Halloween. We've got something in mind, but we're not 100% sold. Like things might change until you've actually got the costume. If there's something you think we should go as like an idea, We've been pretty stuck about it. Comment below and get some more ideas. Yeah, we'll keep it a secret. <laughs> you have to watch the Halloween special and find out. I'm excited to video that. Yeah, Halloween's a big deal for me and Jess, if you don't know that already. It's the day that we first Unplanned kiss. date, first kiss. Uh, we also got married on that day. Not that first day, but yeah, on Halloween. Yeah, we both really like Halloween. Halloween's pro I, I like Halloween more than Christmas, more than Easter. Mm. It's, it's my favorite public holiday. Not public holiday, it's not a public holiday. It should be a public holiday. It's Jazz's first Halloween. Yay. She's excited too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just did a painting activity as a family and I think that we had a little bit more fun than the kids, than the kids did. Hey. I get around despite the laws I'm over here, gotta get across Whether you like it, like it or not There is a moment meant for us now you made it, but I already played this Not interested, open your eyes, let's get it done Take my hand, just follow me, shut on me, I won Oh, oh, the sky is on fire The lake has turned to a golden sun Oh, oh, I'll never get tired I just wanna dance, just wanna dance The whole concept of the Halloween costume. There were no actual costume shops open yesterday. We really thought we wanted to be skeletons. We found like in Best and Less and Target and Big W had skeleton costumes or at least skeleton shirts. We're a little bit limited to what Jacob can actually wear um, as a costume because anyone who has a child with sensory processing difficulties will know that um, they sometimes don't like having things on their faces, they don't like having masks or hats or specific um, materials even. There was a costume that we really liked but we really couldn't get it because it was like a really um, synthetic material and Jacob just would never wear that. He doesn't really like wearing those types of things and he'll just scream and take it off. If you are dressing up your child 
for Halloween, please let me know down below in the comments what you are dressing them up as or what they're choosing to dress up as. Any sensory friendly Halloween costume ideas? I know there's a few um, ideas that we had but definitely settled on the skeleton idea and we are going to attempt to paint our faces. That probably will not work out for Jacob, but we'll try. If you've gotten this far in the video, comment down below the little ghost emoji. I'd love to see who's gotten this far in the video. I, I guess the purpose of this vlog is to talk about how um, sometimes kids with additional needs are limited in what they can wear as a costume or special events. We'd rather them just be comfortable enough. It's already going to be a, a sensory overload experience because we are going to a Halloween party which has lights and sounds and all that jazz. We do have a plan B if Jacob doesn't enjoy it. And it's Jazz's first Halloween. Yes, isn't it? It's your first Halloween. If you guys would like to see what we dressed up for Halloween last year and the year before, leave those videos up here. I'm really proud of those videos. It's kind of fun to film because the house that we go to for Halloween goes all out for Halloween and um, I love filming all the different decorations that they have going on there. And everyone really dresses up really well. So look out for that vlog. It's coming Soon. Can I just talk about how good Jazz is getting at pulling herself off? These last few weeks, she's just been trying so hard to pull herself up, and now she can do it. She actually didn't had a nasty fall on her head from trying to do it, but now she's pretty good at it. I give it a couple months, and she'll be walking everywhere. Hi. Who's that? What do you want me to do? He loves getting pressure on his feet and on his knees, like that deep compression. Oh, this is a great angle. He's been quite elevated lately. The high pitch. Screaming. No, it's not high pitch, but he does do that as well. He has been screaming very high pitched, especially at midnight last night. He was up for hours screaming. He's not unhappy screaming, he's just sort of stimming, as they say. This is where she hit herself. So she pulled herself up here and then she hit her head on this. And it's almost better. So I might end the vlog here because we're not going to be doing very much other than the bedtime routine. Which, comment down below if you want us to do a bed right bedtime routine video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to support it. For if I do, my baby will say. Have you ever seen a cat wearing a hat down by the bay?